What's going on everybody and welcome to another episode. So for today's video, as you can see here, I have coil cables and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So I wanna go over a few reasons or things that I feel like I consider to be just general reasons as to why you will be interested in coil cables versus your traditional cables for your mechanical keyboards. I'm also gonna talk about maybe a few other reasons that I have learned thus far and why I can appreciate these things as well as you know what are some of the downsides to using them as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see right here, I only have two coil cables at this time. For the right one, this is technically my first purchase for a coil cable. However, I purchased this one, the Modern Dolch, through a group buy. And with group buys, you have to wait until the product is manufactured and shipped in order to receive it. On the left side here, this coil cable was purchased through eBay and I actually purchased through a seller. I thought it was a cool looking coil cable here. And the colors of this one went with my first mechanical keyboard kit here, the kind of like the colorway I was going for for that build. And so I'm gonna talk about all the basic things you should know when it comes to the coil cables and if you're interested in purchasing them to match your theme for either a pre-built or a specific build Build that you're looking to build or maybe building at that time. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is aesthetics. Now I have to mention this because obviously it is very different from your traditional cables. For me, when I first got into mechanical keyboards, I was immediately attracted to the cool cables because I thought they were a pretty cool design here. And just the way they kind of bring out your overall color scheme or colorway and your setup. So in my opinion, they add a little bit more value to your build and just kind of like put push up that you know mechanical keyboard look and just kind of adds a little bit more cool factor so you know as you're typing you look at your setup these particular accessories just look so nice laying on the desk mat or just laying on your desk and just connected to your mechanical keyboard here i will discuss later you can get these in a variety of different colors and they just come in different ranges and options that are available depending on that manufacturer or that maker another thing i want to mention can definitely have a way to buy one cable and have different connectors. So if you have multiple keyboards, some of them may connect via USB-C, micro USB, or mini USB. You don't wanna necessarily have to purchase a whole new cable if you don't want to. So you can buy these certain parts of the cable here and you can either just connect them via aviator using the aviator cable, depending on who made that cable, or you can use another connector that we will talk a little bit more about. So it's a little bit more flexible than your traditional cable because as you may know that the traditional cable will usually only have one way to connect it and that can be micro USB, USB-C, or mini USB. So the second thing we're going to talk about is price. So let's go ahead and get it out the way. These are very expensive accessories when it comes to comparing these core cables versus a traditional cable. Now you may have already picked up on that if you have purchased one before or if you're interested in one and looking to purchase one, you wonder why they are so much more expensive. Well, I'm gonna try to explain a few reasons as maybe why they could be more expensive. Some of these things are obvious, but some of the things that it may be on the back end for us like labor, and it takes a lot of you know work, materials, materials and different things to produce these particular cables. As I mentioned, they are expensive. They can vary anywhere from between, I've seen as low as $60 to 100. Again, it all depends on where you're purchasing it from or who you're purchasing it from. Another thing is it varies upon custom. So if you're building your own, the different material that is being used, the connector, as far as like if you're using aviator or a different connector, maybe you're considering mini SLR, or I know sometimes you can have one that is just typically no connection at all. So it's just one cable, but you still have that coil factor. So there's so many things that is included. Usually I've seen that people are building 
building these cables according to the order and what are the things that you are considering to have in yours now there are options i've seen that can be in stock those are more the common aesthetics or colors that people tend to buy and you can get those maybe at a little bit cheaper price because they are already made and they're readily available versus building your own and that taking a little bit more time and of course multiple resources so another point to mention here is these are not typically mass produced again it always depends on the maker or the manufacturer here and what they have available and then you also have to factor that in with the price the less are made the less are available the more time people typically spend in how many they make people like to spend a little bit more time in making them thus the price being a little bit higher than your traditional cable hopefully you can see that these have more materials that are being used versus your traditional cable here so i'm going to try to break down certain parts about the coil cables that you don't normally see this one is a little bit more flexible and we'll talk more about that as well there's material called tech flex and what that would typically do is protect the cable and you know also that determines the flexibility of the cable for the most part from what i can tell that is all in how well the cable will be able to sustain usage so if you're pretty rough with your things then that is a factor to consider that's another material that has to be used to make these cables and paracord sleeve in that's usually going to be the color that you want and that material is going to include many options as well as tech flex as well you can have different color ranges when it comes to those two materials another piece here is the heat shrink here you'll notice that you can also customize this and i find that pretty cool because i love those little small details that you can change or add these can come in different colors as well and one thing i want to note here is this is important to me as well as the overall cable but especially this because sometimes this can tend to come a little loose and wear down over time so just keep that in mind as you're you know constantly reconnecting and changing the cable out be aware that the heat shrink can sometimes wear down the quality of this definitely matters okay so let's talk about the connector here now i've only seen two types for the most part there may be another one but this one is more common and this is the aviator connector here you can customize this part here of the cable some may have the silver and again all these things reflect in the cost so i purchased this one for around 77 dollars and i've had it over a year um, about a year and a half now so for the most part you can tell that it's still in relatively great condition but getting back to the connector here yeah this is going to be your more common connector you can separate the two parts of this cable by unscrewing this part right here so as you can see here this is a four pin aviator connector not sure how many other options are but i've seen five pins options it depends on how the cable is made and which type of aviator connector is used but for the most part you will have these type of pins to connect both pieces together now with that being said you won't be able to just buy one piece and then buy the other piece of the cable from two different manufacturers you may be able to do that I would you know proceed with caution on that because again it depends on how many pins are in that aviator connection and I would typically purchase from the same vendor you will be able to change either part out you can change out the coil piece or you can change out the piece where you would connect this to your pc so the usb connector can be a totally different color from your coil cable piece so that's pretty cool and i think that also adds some flexibility and customization so talking about a couple of downsides to having this connector here is it's obviously pretty clunky it can damage your desk if it's banging against it or banging against something else definitely want to be careful when moving this type of cable that has this connector around i would definitely recommend kind of like having somewhere where it can be stationary so that is something i have noticed with this one and that may be a reason as to why you would check out the mini slr connector because it's smaller thinner and it 
won't wear down your desk as much as the aviator would. With that, that connector costs a little bit more, so definitely keep in mind. Again, the aviator is the more common version and it is a little bit more budget friendly. So the third thing I'm gonna mention here is of course, customization. As you may have seen, and I've mentioned this already, the options are just pretty much endless when it comes to what all colors you would like for it to be, the tip flesh, the paracord sleeve in, just so many different ways. Definitely can be a one-on-one -on -one situation where you can customize these cables to the point that you could be the only one with that particular making. So it all depends on what you have in mind, what matches your colorway of your mechanical keyboard, as well as your desk mat and just your overall setup. And I think that really adds some originality as well. You make it more personal. With that, that will reflect in the price. So the more you customize, the more you add things, the different limited colors that are offered, that is definitely gonna increase the price. You wanna go for more of a one-to-one -one kind of look or customization. Hopefully you have a higher budget so you can you know, have what you want. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is as far as customization is the coil itself. There are coil options that offer like six inches or less, depending on how long you want your coil to be. Those options are available per vendor. Me personally, I like a longer coil, but like if I can have a long, tight, sturdy looking coil, I think that will increase the durability over time. And I personally think if you're gonna purchase one of these cables, then, you know, go all out on the coil option if you can. That's just my, you know, style and that's what I prefer. And the customization of your coil has a wide range as well. Sometimes vendors may offer the ability to have the coil start at the beginning of your cable, in the middle of your cable. It just all depends. If you can tell the difference here, my laser cord cable here, that's going to be the light blue and purple one. This one has more flexibility in it. The coils are bigger versus my modern Dolch coils on this one. The gray one is tighter, but they're smaller, which I do like. From what I noticed, the two cables that I have here, the coilness varies. So my guess is jumbo coil cables may have more flexibility versus the smaller coil cables here. So if you notice one cable has more flexibility, meaning the coils are not as tight, then that could be the reason. Let me know, you know, if you have experienced that. It still looks good, but I do have to be more careful in how often I move this cable or my keyboard because over time it will tend to stretch out and my coils will be a lot more looser than they are right now. So the fourth thing we're gonna talk about is the quality. Now, all that definitely depends on the vendor, but for the most part, I'm finding that to be relatively good, especially for the two cables that I have here. I don't typically have any complaints per se. Would there be some things I would prefer over the other? Yes. So if you have a smaller desk, then I can see this may get in the way over time versus using this one. This would be a lot more condensed in my opinion. So I would say, you know, you can do your research on the vendors and, you know, maybe what other people have said about the cables that they purchased. So the last thing I'm going to mention here is availability. Now, when it comes to availability, we're going to talk about the in-stock versus the group buy. And as I mentioned, this was an in-stock item and this was purchased through a group buy. Depending on that group buy, you may be able to get a cable that is a little bit more budget friendly. This one I purchased during the Modern Doge theme back in February of last year. This one was about $35, $36 versus, as I mentioned earlier, I paid around $77 for this one. So this one pretty much cost two times more than this one. Again, it all reflects in the style, the connector that was involved using this one, different ways to purchase your coil cables, just like your mechanical keyboards. And when it comes to group buys, I talk more about this in heavy detail in another video, but group buys tend to vary in pricing. That's more of a controlled way of how many you want to make of that items. The vendor may only want to have like a limited run and that can reflect in the pricing as well as, you know, distribution and all those different things. But that is something I wanted to mention. If you haven't looked at coil cables or you may be aware of this, but you have to check and verify if that cable is compatible with your mechanical keyboard. So certain mechanical keyboards are not always compatible with every coil cable that is made. I know sometimes the vendor may mention that. Usually the vendor will mention what 
mechanical keyboards would not be compatible with that cable. So if you have one of those keyboards that are not compatible with that cable, then you obviously may have to find a different option there. And the reasons can vary. Sometimes that cable may not have the adequate power for that mechanical keyboard. I know I own one that I have to consider which cable I'm using. So that's another thing to keep an eye out for. And lastly, I'm going to talk about a cable that is not cooled, but it is a three in one option here. Now this one is the Kraken cable and I purchased this one through Mechanical Keyboards Incorporated. And so with this one, you get a sticker inside. And when I purchased this one, it was one that I was using until I got one of my coil cables here. It's a pretty cool cable. I think for the price, I paid maybe around $46 for it. I will leave a link for you guys to check out the Kraken cable if you wish to. But for the most part, it's a relatively great cable, I think. It doesn't have the coils, obviously, as you can see here. But if you're looking for something simple I and mean, you still can buy it in different colors, I believe there are like four different color options for you. But you get three different connectors here. So it does have the aviator connector here, as you can tell. And as I mentioned, this is more common. You get USB type C. You also get mini USB and you get your micro USB. So three different options for one cable. I think that is awesome. I actually recommended this cable to a friend and she definitely enjoys it and it matches the kit that she has. Again, more of a inexpensive option and this can be a way for you to have a one cable system. So you can definitely switch them out because you have the aviator connection. So just unscrew it and change them out and it just works so, all right you guys that's pretty much going to wrap up this video right here i appreciate you guys watching it if you stay to the end thank you so much i really appreciate it also hopefully you know the drill hopefully you consider subscribing you know join the crew if you wish as well as give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you're using if you just use a traditional cable that's still good if you use more of a three-in-one um cable if you have one of these cables let me know if you prefer the mini s LR connector. I don't have that one at this time, but pretty sure it seems to be a awesome looking connector and have more of a minimalistic look. And also just let me know what you think of coil cables. This may be a acquiring taste for certain people. With all that being said, guys, I will catch you in my next video. Peace.